Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. So I've just got a quick little video here. Regular viewers of my channel uh, will know I've done lots of videos in the past on how to spot fake semiconductors. Uh, but I've just got another, quite what I quite think is a quite novel way here uh, of spotting um, fake semiconductors. Um, and the key to this is, um, if you suspect something's going to be a fake, don't just buy one, buy ten of them. Uh, and I'll show you in this video exactly why. Now, obviously, if you're buying from a reputable company like DigiKey, RS Components, you're not going to get fakes, you're going to get peace of mind. You're going to pay more money, uh, but you're going to get peace of mind that the part you've fitted uh, is exactly the part that you think it is. Um, but for this little test, what I've done is I've bought 10 ICs from DigiKey. Now, these are a... TNY278PN and I've also got 10 of the same ICs from AliExpress now the first thing is don't be fooled by the packaging because when you open this uh, you'll see that they come packed up in the same packaging now obviously that's to fool you uh, and to let you think that these are genuine manufacturers parts but they're not so we'll tip some of these out, we'll tip some of these out and we'll take a look what the difference is. So if we first take a look at the ones from DigiKey, you can see they all look the same and they've all got the same batch number on. Now I am actually, uh, it is in focus, I can see, but I'm actually looking at these under a big magnifying glass. But if you look at that, all the batch numbers on the chips all match up and if we turn the chips upside down on the underneath they've all got the same ident on the bottom and it says something in that I can't really read it through this magnifying glass but it probably says Thailand or the country of manufacture I would imagine yeah I can't really zoom in because we're looking through a big magnifying glass but anyway so they're the ones from DigiKey now let's look at five from AliExpress so if we look at the ones from AliExpress you'll notice that they all look different but if you look at the batch numbers let me get this into focus they all have exactly the same batch number on which is a bit unusual because the chips all look physically different uh, now it's more than likely where they've been sanded down uh, to put the new numbers on but just let's turn these upside down and have a look underneath so let's just look under this cheap microscope if we just take two for starters you can see the ident hole there is a different size to that one and if we turn them upside down you will see under one it's marked Malaysia and on this one it's marked China I get on my mobile phone so you can see it better so we've got two completely different chips here but not only do they have the same part number on they have the same exactly the same batch number on so clearly these are two completely different random ICs uh, I mean these could be absolutely anything the only thing these have got in common is they've got the same amount of pins on in fact if you look underneath you can see the where they put the country of origin uh, is stamped on one of them circles is bigger than the other so that's another little tip of mine when you're looking for uh, fakes um, if you suspect something's going to be fake don't just buy one buy at least ten uh, because the chances are um, if it's a fake you'll have ten random ICs 
which all have the same numbers printed on. The bottom row of the fakes and the top one of the genuine. In fact, if you look at the pin one ident on the genuine one, it's painted on, uh, and on the fake one, it's actually uh, moulded into the plastic of the chip. So there we go guys and girls, that's my little tip of the day, don't buy one, buy ten, because when you find out the fakes, all you do is you just send them back. Alright, many thanks for watching my video, and I'll catch you in the next one, goodbye.